Good afternoon. You know, there are moments in this life, and I mean this literally, when the pure, unadulterated evil is unleashed on this world. The people of Israel lived through one such moment this weekend. The bloody hands of the terrorist organization Hamas, a group whose stated purpose for being is to kill Jews. This was an act of sheer evil. More than 1,000 civilians slaughtered, not just killed, slaughtered in Israel. Among them, at least 14 American citizens killed. Parents butchered, using their bodies to try to protect their children. Stomach-turning reports of being babies being killed. Entire families slain. Young people massacred while attending a musical festival to celebrate peace. To celebrate peace. Women raped, assaulted, paraded as trophies. Families hid their fear for hours and hours, desperately trying to keep their children quiet to avoid drawing attention. And thousands of wounded, alive but carrying with them the bullet holes and the shrapnel wounds and the memory of what they endured. You all know these traumas never go away. There's still so many families desperately waiting to hear the fate of their loved ones, not knowing if they're alive or dead or hostages. Infants in their mother's arms, grandparents in wheelchairs, Holocaust survivors abducted and held hostage. Hostages whom Hamas has now threatened to execute in violation of every code of human morality. It's abhorrent. The brutality of Hamas, these bloodthirstiness brings to mind the worst, the worst rampages of ISIS. This is terrorism. But sadly, for the Jewish people, it's not new. This attack has brought to the surface painful memories and the scars left by a millennia of anti-Semitism and genocide of the Jewish people. So in this moment, we must be crystal clear. We stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens, defend itself, 